Hey everybody, welcome back. Gonna teach you some basics here. Uh, this is how to make mayonnaise. Uh, I did a batch off camera and I was like, oh, I should do another one of those. So I'm gonna do it on camera here. Very simple. Start with one egg. You could use any size egg you want. You'll just have to adjust the oil based on that. Uh, I like to then use a spicy mustard. You can use Dijon. You can use yellow if you want. This is kind of a Dijon yellow mix. You can use half a lemon up to a full lemon. I used about half a lemon off camera, so I'm gonna just put the rest in here. Normally I'd like a little more than this, but this is what I had left. I'm gonna also try to keep this fairly edit free because I want to show you guys how quickly this all comes together. It is a very simple dish and you could use this to create aiolis, any other kind of sauces you want. So it's very, very easy. Salt it and pepper it at this stage also. You don't need to wait till the end. It's not like making scrambled eggs or anything. You could just get that all in right now. You might need to add a little at the end when you taste it to your preference, but just get that in there now. And then to bring this all together, we're going to use a mix of olive oil, light olive oil, and avocado oil. I wouldn't recommend using vegetable oil. I know I have it there in the back, but you're going to add right now and to start about a quarter of a cup of oil. So I'm going to mix these basically in half proportions each. I wouldn't use extra virgin because that has a tendency, the nicer the oil, to turn bitter when you blend it and whisk it and store it for periods of time. So try to not use your real nice oil. And then we're going to use an immersion blender to bring this all together. You can do this in a bowl with a whisk. I don't recommend that. It's You can break it easier that way. But this is how I like to do it. So you're going to now get that immersion blender about... You want it fully submerged like that. And you want to see the tip of it down there in with the egg, not with the oil. So you can see that clear line there, which is exactly what you're looking for. And then just blend that. Once you feel it come together, start to pull up and incorporate more and more and more. As you can see here, mine is definitely too liquidy. That's totally fine. Add more oil. That's all you gotta do. You don't wanna start too much in the beginning because it's gonna become super, super thick and goopy. So add a little bit as you go. Getting a little better there, but still way too liquidy. So we're gonna add in now about another quarter of a cup of oil here. Blend that all up again, and now you can see it coming together even more. I could feel it, especially in the hand. It feels much more like your mayo consistency. You could feel it through the immersion blender. Uh, and then I'm just going to add one last little blast in here. It was almost perfect. Um, and then we're going to be good to go. That's real time. That was, what, maybe a minute? That's all you need to do to make mayo. It's incredibly simple, and it's it's very tasty. It's way different than what it tastes like in a store. So if you're looking for store-bought mayo, this is going to have a different taste for you. So don't expect that typical fatty Hellman's taste. Give it a, a sample. Perfect. And now I'm going to pour it out into a little cup for you so you can see the overall consistency that this had. Really recommend everyone try this. See, that's your perfect consistency. If you want a little thicker, add a little more oil. If you want a little more thin, add some water. But that's mayo, guys. Super simple, and we'll next turn this into some other fun sauces, but that'll be down the line. <laughs> 